Welcome back into Sports Connection. It's an Edmondson County family affair. This is Brian's favorite episode. But joining us next is the girls basketball squad of Edmondson County. Here we have Carrie Ann Williams, Miss Shelby Souders, and head coach Mr. Jody Booth. How are y'all doing today? Good. Good. Doing good. All right, coach, let's just uh, jump right into it. This year, first year head coach at the helm, you know, I just want to ask you, you know, how did how did this come for you and how did you uh, come into accepting that head coaching role? Well, it was really all of a sudden. Uh, I'd been on the boys' side for a long time now and uh, Coach Weaver got out uh, at the end of June. And so when the opportunity came up, I, I was really just uh, taking a break, to be honest with you. Didn't know what my next coaching move would be. And uh, Coach Weaver got out, the opportunity came up. Talked to Mr. Williams and uh, Coach Pierce there, our AD at the high school, and uh, here we are. It's the same game of basketball, right, Jody? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've, I've enjoyed every second of it, too. If you know basketball, you can coach it either way. Um, well, let's start with you, Carrie Ann. First of all, an uh, incredible career already in your you know, short time you, as a lady you. cat. Pretty amazing. I mean, uh, had a triple-double against Franklin Simpson. We know how good they are. That, that speaks volumes about your game, and I think last year, uh, in the Commonwealth, you're ranked in the top ten in blocks. Uh, is defensive part of the game your favorite, or, or is the offensive side? I like both sides, but defense is pretty fun. I like to block shots, and then a guard will take off with it, so it's perfect. <laughs> I mean, I've seen her. I've seen them play this year a couple times, so I've seen her block shots, and it, I'm like. She is extremely tall. Why is anybody trying to get to the paint? I don't know. But, you know, coming to this year uh, for you all, Shelby, I'll ask you, you know, as a freshman, you know, being uh, a huge part of this team, you know, how's it for you being so young and trying to navigate all that? Uh, it's sometimes it can be a little nerve wracking because, you know, you're so young and people sometimes wonder why you're out there. But you just got to keep playing and, you know, know that you've got Carrie Ann and other people that can help you out when you need it. Coach, 14-2, uh, and two, man, out of the gate. You got to feel good about it. Feel really good. Uh, a lot of people kind of doubted us, said we wouldn't win a lot of games. This team last year lost a lot of seniors uh, and had one transfer. And so Carrie Ann's really the only uh, starter that came back, the only player that really got a lot of varsity experience. So everybody counted us out, didn't really expect us to win a lot of ball games. and told these girls that just stay patient with it, stay positive every day, trying to get better. And that's the way they've taken it so far. And we've been extremely blessed uh, with our record, uh, but we take it one game at a time. We prepare for our opponents one game at a time. And when we take care of business, we move on to the next one. You know, Carrie Ann, for you, since, you know, being the one of the only players to come back here and have that experience, you know, how's it been through in your eyes, you know, with this such young team that you all are having so much success that you are so far? Well, I was nervous during the summer because I didn't really know how it was going to go because we didn't have many people returning. But once we started practices, you could, I, I've loved it. You can tell that we've got potential. So it's been working out really good so far. Shelby Souders, uh, young phenom. What, what's your favorite part of this game of basketball? Uh, I think teamwork, like knowing that you've got a good team to work with is probably my favorite part about it. Great answer. Coach, for, like you said, 14 and two, those two losses being uh, to Davis County a couple weeks ago and, and Franklin Simpson earlier this year, you know, uh, what have you learned about this team, especially in, in those two losses, I would say? I've learned that they're fighters, um, and that's that's what has led us to the success. Is we're still working every day on our basketball skills, but they just come in every day with a positive attitude, ready to get better, and they work hard. Uh, one of the hardest working groups I've been around, and they just when things don't go well, like the Franklin Simpson and the Davis County game, we don't really hold our heads down long enough to let it continue on, and uh, we just pick our heads back up. We watch the film, we work on things, fundamental stuff in practice, and we just move on and get better. Uh, one thing I remember, girls, uh, from back in the day at ECHS, the fans in the stands, they brought it every Friday night and any other night that you were on the court. Is that still a thing? Are they still up there just causing <laughs> havoc? And how much do you guys or gals like, you know, depend on them? I love it. District yeah. games are really big too. Everybody's there cheering us on. It's it gets crazy. But we yeah, love it. Uh, the pep section. I think they're always kind of like there supporting. So it's good to know that they're there too. Yeah, we got in trouble a couple times. <laughs> I may or may not have thrown a hot dog on the court. 
Mm. <laughs> I, I think that actually, that actually happened in the game. I don't remember where it happened somewhere around here uh, a couple of years ago. Um, for you all, you know, being so young uh, on this team and being and being leaders on this team, uh, you you know, you had tons of room to grow. For you, you have three more years after this. For you, you had two more years after this. You know, what have you learned so far um, from your time here, and and how can you use that as you head on into your later years as you become upperclassmen? I just think that there's always room to get better. That's what I've learned. You're never perfection. You're never perfect. You gotta keep working and get better. It's yeah, you got to keep working and keep, like, know that you can get better and there's always room for improvement. Jody, uh, you know, I know you want to capitalize on this great start and where you're at here just past midseason. But in your heart of hearts, where are some of your goals uh, going to lie when it comes to uh, pushing through this district play, headed, headed to a possible region and possibly uh, headed to the state? Uh, our goal is to always get out of the district and we're in a competitive district where if you don't bring it then you're going to get beat and so that's our goal is to get out of the district and we want to win the district championship if you ask any coach or any team about their goals it needs to be a district championship and really we want to get back to the region where everybody doubted us this year where we wouldn't make it out of our district and we want to make some noise in the region as well because we just we haven't this program hasn't won a region game in a long time and that's where we're trying to build to get this program to is where not only we're making noise in the district but we're making that noise in the region as well you know do you kind of do you all use that 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 talk that fuel as like people underrate you and you know you kind of use that when you when you're on the court especially for you you know i feel like i've seen your name a lot recently but at the beginning of the season i didn't really see it that much compared to what it is now you know do you kind of use that uh, as fuel to, to hype you up out yeah, there you got to earn everything that comes for you so whenever they're not talking you got to make them talk so absolutely i love that answer I that, love that, it. that's hard I love um it. for you all uh, for each of you, you know, uh, for the for you all to call this a successful season, what would that have to look like for you all? Uh, I think definitely making it out of district would probably be a really successful season, especially since nobody thought we would win ten games. So, like winning district and winning a few region games would be pretty successful for me. Absolutely, Coach. I, you already answered it. Get into that region and win that game. I already know. Um, Thank you all for coming. Uh, we can't wait to watch you all here in this third region. I was uh, looking forward to watching you all play this past Friday at Butler County, but obviously that got canceled. So I'm looking forward to the next game where I get to see you all play. You all are, are dogs out there, so it's fun watching you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Go Lady Cats. <laughs> well, don't go anywhere. We have more Sports Connection right after the break.